Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Welcome back to another edition of Roofful Pro Releases. I'm your host, Matthew McDaniel, the Chief Marketing Officer at Roofful. And today we're going to be walking through version 1.6, have some very cool features to show you guys, and also want to share with you a few things that are in the works for early in 2023 that you can look forward to. Hope everyone's year is off to a great start. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to kick things off, we have a few new design improvements. Uh, so go ahead and log into your pro portal. You're going to head over to the tool, sec tool settings section. And under the branding tab, you'll notice a new feature called background. What this allows you to do is change the background color of the tool itself. So just going to select a random color here. And boom, you can see in the preview, now I have a different background color. And this is actually going to apply to all the screens on the tool. Uh, so your forms, as well as your thank you screen, all gonna match that new background color. Now, if you happen to choose a color that conflicts with other, other elements on the screen, for instance, your buttons or your text, I'll show you guys, it's gonna give you a warning message saying that you need to choose a different color because basically those items are hidden. Uh, so another thing you can do is actually change the opacity of the color. So that way you get a nice uh, lighter hue here. And now it's not conflicting with these other elements. And I can go ahead and save. So in addition to the background color, we want to make sure that every element that is on the tool matches your brand colors. Uh, so under controls and the color of the main button is actually now going to match uh, the outlines, so the outlines to the colors, the outlines to your form fields, they're all going to match this main button color. So we removed that old orange color that a few of you noticed, and we make sure that everything is 100% matching to your brand. So moving on from the color updates, our next design improvement has to do with the height of the tool. So with the full page embedded version, uh, we no longer have all that extra white space underneath. Uh, so we've actually created a responsive design. That way, wherever the homeowner is at in this flow, the tool is going to adjust the height based on the amount of content that's shown on the screen. Uh, so that's going to move all the way through uh, the entire flow, and it's going to adjust the height uh, of the tool. And so why that's so important, it has to do with the user experience. And while we're so obsessed with all these little small design tweaks and just really nailing down this uh, experience, it has to do with conversion rate. Uh, so it's one of the most uh, neglected and important metrics in marketing is the conversion rate of your page. So uh, uh, just a, even a small increase in conversion rate can have a dramatic impact on the amount of leads that your company is generating. And obviously that has a ca cascading effect. The more leads, the more appointments, the more demos, the more sales. So it all starts from a really good conversion rate. And that is actually what RoofQuote Pro is designed to solve, is to increase the conversion rate and turn more website visitors into leads. So that is why we're pretty obsessed with the actual design of the tool. Uh, and that was a huge improvement to be able to get rid of that extra white space. Now, there is one caveat and has to do with if you are a uh, early user, there's a good chance that you probably have an old iframe script on the page. Uh, so you're going to want to talk to your developer to make sure you've switched over to our newer script. Uh, it's simply this script here, the full page roof quote pro script. You're going to copy that and put that in the header of the page. And then lastly, you're going to put this. Uh, this ID tag in replace of the iframe tag. Uh, so I know that's probably confusing some of you guys. Just send that off, that information off to your developer. What that's going to do, it's going to allow that uh, embedded responsive design. It's also going to allow a lot more tracking tools, uh, such as the conversion URL. So it's a really important thing to update that script. Moving on to our next feature highlight custom videos on your thank you screen. So go over to your tool settings tab and under the drop down, you're gonna to go to your thank you screen. And so here you can actually upload your own custom video. And this adds a, a ton of value 
As a homeowner completes the process, they select the roof. Uh, they're actually going to click send me details. They're going to see your thank you screen. And now you can build a bunch of brand value here. You can set expectations. Uh, you can help guide them to the next step of the process, all within a custom video. And so we support up to 200 megabytes, uh, which is about a 60 second video, which is plenty of time to give them the information they need. And it's about how much time anyone has uh, for their attention span these days. Uh, so I will be providing some ideas on what to include in this video uh, to help make this an effective process. In the meantime, let's move on to our next feature highlight, analytics. So you'll notice that we've added a new analytics reports tab. We wanted to give you some really good insights on how your tool is performing. So we provided some analytics reports here. This is just version one. We are going to release additional reports, give you guys some charts, uh, some more visual uh, information that can help you understand what to improve. I'll just run through these ones really fast. So we have top products. Uh, this is going to show you up to the top nine products ordered by most popular. Uh, so that's based on how many homeowners have clicked send me details. Uh, so that's going to really show you guys uh, which products are performing best. Next up, this row is, has to do with your leads. We have RQP leads. These are the number of uh, homeowners that actually saw their price. Uh, we have other contacts. So these are uh, homeowners that were outside of your service market. Um, or they just completed a help request form. And then we have address only leads. So these are people that didn't actually put in any of their information except for their address. Uh, we still do capture that address. If you guys are aware, you hopefully are aware of this feature already. Uh, so either, these are all the addresses that were entered into your tool that didn't actually convert into a lead. So a lot of value with those ones there. Uh, next up, we have average project size. Uh, so this is going to actually show you, you know, the average square count for uh, the projects that you're bidding through your tool. So really, really great information there. Uh, now, next up, we have address entries. This is the number of unique addresses entered into the tool. Almost done. This is going to tell you how many times the almost done form, which is the form where they actually enter their information, was shown. So not completed, but how many times it actually uh, was shown. Next up, sent details. This is how many uh, homeowners actually click the button on the product card to send them details. Outside service area, this is gonna tell you how many uh, contacts you've generated that were outside of your service market. And data unavailable, this is in rare cases uh, when our uh, proprietary tech does not recognize the building, uh, the structure information. Um, the data is not going to be available. They can still fill out a traditional lead form, so you can still capture those leads. Again, this is very rare cases, but we just wanted to show you guys that there, as well as get help. So this is just like almost done. This is another form. So if they uh, are unable to get their instant quote, we still can capture that lead. So this, this will show you how many times uh, they've clicked the Get Help form. So this also includes people that were outside of your service market. Uh, so they, they can still complete a request quote form. Uh, it's just done through a traditional way. Uh, last up is average quote. So you can actually look through all of the products that you've shown through the tool. You can select any product for any market and see what the average quote is. You could also see what the highest quote has been and what the lowest quote has been. Uh, so this is very, very powerful insights. Uh, obviously, we have a lot going on in our demo account, uh, but you should just see the, the main products and markets uh, that you're showing. And you can actually see what the average price is going for. It can help you really dial in your pricing. And filters at the top can actually adjust all these reports based on either a specific market so let's try uh, Minneapolis, for instance, or a specific date. So if we wanted to just see what happened in November, uh, it's going to adjust our reports based on the time frame and based on the market. So there you go for version one of analytics. Just to wrap things up, I just wanted to throw out a few teasers, uh, things that we're actually building right now for you guys. 
that you can expect early in 2023. The first is real financing. So in addition to being able to see a monthly price, homeowners will actually be able to just click a button and just through their, their phone, they'll be able to receive a loan that's going to be exclusive to your company. Uh, and it'll take them about less than five minutes to actually apply for a loan. It's going to be super important in 2023 as people leverage a lot more credit. Uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's going to be an absolute game changer, guys. So be looking forward to that one. So next up is going to be our tool demo. Uh, so we got some feedback that you guys would like to be able to use this tool without having to complete the form, without having to generate leads. Uh, so we're actually going to give you an unlimited use of the tool so you can actually see uh, the square count just in seconds, be able to generate quotes uh, very, very rapidly. So this will be a really strong uh, feature for your sales team and in the field. So that rolls right into our next feature release is going to be SalesRabbit integration. It's a very powerful tool for your door-to-door -door sales team. You'll be able to launch a quick quote right within the SalesRabbit app. Everything will be pretty seamless. Uh, it's going to be uh, another game changer uh, for your field team. It's a really, really strong tool for sales rest storm restoration. So be looking forward to that one. So that wraps things up. Thank you guys so much for joining me at another edition of Walkthrough Releases. I just want to encourage you guys again to join our private Facebook group. I'm going to be dropping some insane content. It's exclusive to our group, uh, which is a client-only private group. It's roofing made simple. I'll be sure to send you guys the link to join that. And it's going to help you master marketing in 2023. And also, if you guys are uh, looking for uh, more support with the tool, if it seems a little overwhelming on how to, to, to fully integrate this into your, into your website, if you have any questions about how things work, and you just want to just have a nice sort of a, an onboarding call part two, uh, you can book a refresher technical call with our uh, specialist, Adrian. Again, I'll drop that link as well. So thank you guys again. We'll see you next time. Stay hungry, my friends. <laughs>